Well, I've got to tell you, Nat's not here, and I have a really fantastic... I thought I'd get myself a hunk. <laughs> so I'm here with Aaron, um, and we're going to do Qigong. Yeah. Qi Qigong. Qigong. Now, this is such a brilliant practice, and I would love you succinctly to give a couple of minutes to say what it is and why everyone must do it with us today. Okay, so Qi Gong. Qi is energy. However you want to look at that, you can go spiritual, and you can say it's kind of that life force that flows through you, or you can go scientifically and say, well, we have energy, we have heat, we have electricity, we have a magnetic field. It's a combination of all those things that make up our life force, our energy, how much energy we have each day. Um, and that's affected by our sleep, what food we have, what stress we're under. Uh, and so what we're doing with Qigong is we're practicing working with our energy, mm -hmm. using it to move around our body, making sure everything is flowing, making sure nothing is stuck, so that we have good energy, good vitality. And so what I want to have you guys feel today is energy at the end of this session. Energy. Energy. So whether, whether that means you can actually feel it in your hands, which we're going to try, or whether you just feel better in your body and you feel more energized and set up for the day, that is all we want. That's great. I mean, there's nothing better that we can have at this time in January, because I think a lot of us are feeling low in energy, and it's all well and good to get strong and all these fantastic things, but if your energy levels are down, it just makes your day very much harder. So yeah. I'm really happy. We're going to get started. Now, you don't need anything but your body. There is a little tool that we sometimes use with Katie Brindle, which is this... This tapper. thing, tapper. Now, what do we do if you don't have a tapper? If you don't have a tapper, you can use a loose fist or a cupped hand. I'll explain okay. that when we get to that bit. Great, perfect. You can use that to release tension in the body. Really But useful. for any of you who bought that, we're going to use that today. That's great, great to know because some of the people here will have, will have got that, Aaron. Um, so I'm just going to take, see who's here. Are you all about this? Are we not excited to do this? So what I'm going to do is we can keep the comments flowing. Um, because I think we can see Aaron, we're doing a lot of the standing, aren't we? Because usually yeah, I turn the comments standing. off because you can't see. It's very, very gentle, very simple. Um, if there's anything you can't do, just do slightly smaller ranges of motion. But absolutely everyone can do this. Um, if you're struggling, you need to sit down. You can do a lot of this stuff seated as well. It really is for everyone. Yes, and then if you want to do this again, Aaron, um, I will uh, put a link in the main feed of where you can go and do this as a practice right. and do courses. Okay. Okay, so. Started. Yes. What we're going to start with is some calmness. We're going to relax, we're going to breathe, okay? Right. So we're just going to stand, feet around about hip width apart, so I'll do it facing the camera so you yeah. see me. Soften the knees a little bit, and we try to find a neutral pelvis. So a lot of people stand with a bit of an arch, you know, that, yeah. a bit of tension through the hip. So we're going to try and find where it just feels like the pelvis is hanging in the hips. Okay. Takes the pressure off that lower back. Yeah. We lift the spine slightly. Yeah. Gently tuck the chin. Take a few shoulder rolls, and then let the arms just hang with the shoulders open. And we're just going to stand here nice and relaxed for a moment. And we're going to close our eyes and focus on our breathing for a moment. So really important part of Qigong is the breath. The breath is Qi, the breath is energy, right? So if we don't breathe, we've got no energy. So focus on trying to breathe in through your nose and out through your nose only, if that's possible. If you have to use your mouth, that's okay, but we're trying to breathe in and out through the nose only. And then we need to put one hand on top of your other, on your lower abdomen, so just on that area there. And as you breathe in, see if you can move the belly out on the in-breath. And then as you breathe out, see if you can get that belly to pull gently back in towards your spine. So on the in-breath, the belly expands. And on the out-breath, the belly pulls back in. And we're going to try and slow that breath a little bit. So a few ways of doing that is to try to make your breath silent. So we don't necessarily want to be able to hear your breath. Opposite of yoga. So certain styles of, of, um, of yoga, you would kind of want to hear that breath. Right, 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 breath, breath yeah. Ujjayi breath every, So we've got to do the opposite, because everyone's opposite, done, yeah. done that yesterday. So we've got to do the opposite of Ujjayi yeah, breath. Yeah, so a very calm, okay. slow, relaxed breath. And this is like the breath that you want to take into your day-to-day -day life. When you're walking around, when you're moving, you should be a breath that fills naturally into the ribcage and diaphragm, and it should be a gentle and slow breath. And so with our eyes closed here, just tuning into that breath, let's have a think about how our body feels as well. So if you're holding on to any tension anywhere in your body, just make a little mental note of how everything feels right now, and then we're going to check in at the end and see how it all feels after we've done our Qigong session. Maybe you notice you're feeling particularly tired this morning or low in energy. Very distracted mind with 
thoughts of what's to come for the rest of the day. But we're going to spend the next 45 minutes to an hour just focusing on you and your health. So this slow breath that we've started into the belly and out from the belly, we're going to try and stay with all the way through the session. If you notice you've held your breath or noticed you um, kind of mouth breathing again, just try to come back to this slow nasal breath as much as we can. So one thing I want us to do at the beginning is check in with our energy. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring our hands just together, just a few millimetres apart in front of our face. And you can bring the hands back and forth just a little bit. And I want you to see if you can feel any connection to, between your hands. So you maybe wear as kind of a sponginess, a bit of a magnetic push or pull. Maybe a little bit tingling, that's good if you're feeling the energy. If at home you're not feeling it yet, it's okay, it takes time to feel this. As I said, if you're already stressed, if you're not sleeping well, not eating well, your energy might be quite low, so it's not going to radiate out from you as far. But at home you can try this as well. We're going to create energy in the form of heat. We're also going to wake up the nerve endings in our hands and make them more aware and sensitive. That's always nice to do with a cold warning, just to warm up the hands. <laughs> yeah, so we do this for about 30 seconds or so, quite vigorously. And then we're going to see if we can feel something a bit stronger. Okay, creating heat, creating energy. Okay, so let's come back to those hands again now. Yeah, feel a little bit more chi. Yeah. So energy, energy radiates out from us in all directions. If you think about a mug of coffee, it's not just hot to touch, but that heat radiates out. It's the same from us, so we have this energy that exudes from us, right? And that's, um, if our energy is healthy, it can be almost like this protective layer that surrounds our body. That's kind of the thought that, we, that we're thinking of. So we've got a bit of a sense of how our energy feels now. We are going to do a lot of Qigong practices to wake up the energy, to release tension all over the body, and then we're going to check in at the end and see if we can feel a stronger chi, a stronger life force. And so again, at home, if you're following this, um, hopefully by, this, by the end, if you didn't feel anything, you'll be able to feel a little bit of something, or some of you will be feeling it all the way out here, as well as feeling this flow of chi in the body, right? So we're going to warm up all of the body. We're going to start just by rolling the shoulders gently. This is all about checking in with the body, noticing how everything feels. Are we a bit crunchy there? Yeah, a bit stiff? Bit crunchy there. I think I remember from the last session we did, uh, and not that you had quite stiff in the shoulders, yeah, so we're yeah. actually going to do some stuff to release the neck and shoulders today. Great. So I brought that specifically for you. Thank you. So noticing how this feels, and then we change direction, and staying with that nice relaxed breath. So maybe a clicky, maybe crunchy, maybe it's sore in the neck and shoulders. Yeah, and then we're going to take it into an arm circle. So just as much range as you comfortably can. If you've got a stiff shoulder, you can do a smaller circle. Through Qigong, we never move through ranges of pain. It's always about moving your body and feeling good to it. So don't force anything at all. I noticed you're putting your hand on your stomach. Do you do yeah. that just to feel that tension in your stomach? Or? Yeah, I just like to rest my hand out. Yeah, sometimes on the hip, sometimes on the side. Okay. Um, and then we can change the direction there. Good, so noticing again what's restricted, where you're stuck. Qigong is all about finding balance in the body, right? So if we're uh, stiff on one side, not on the other. What's the reason for that? Is that we're leaning one way more than the other? Are we sleeping a bit funny? It allows us to notice our body and start to make adaptations in our day-to-day -day life to, to improve the benefits. Good. So really nice big circles. And so energy flows through our body in meridians, energy channels. We can think of these being a bit like rivers. And one river flows into the other river, but if there's a blockage somewhere, that's going to restrict the flow. So what we're trying to do is make sure that no joint is really stiff and tight and is restricting flow as well. Stiff, tight joints not only restrict the flow of qi, but they also block blood and other bodily fluids from flowing, especially your lymphatic drainage system. So by loosening every joint, we're ensuring that energy, but also fluids can move freely through our body. We're coming to the elbows next, so we're literally doing every joint. So we just keep our upper arm fairly still, and we just sweep the elbows past the chest. So every joint in the body needs to move well. So this is kind of lubricating the joints as well, helping to release connective tissue, and gently warming the body up. Okay, so both directions here. Yeah, we can bring our fingertips we're going to lock the hands and we're going to roll the wrists just the upper hands 
a bit of clicking and cracking. I get that quite a bit. Particularly if we spend a lot of time on phones and small keyboards, everything's going to stiffen up through our wrists and hands, but energy channels flow all the way down there. Our circulation flows all the way there. So we'll change direction. So getting everything moving. Not too clicky there for you. It's all right. Okay, we're going to take it down to the feet. So we're going to put hands on the hips and just roll the ankles. I hope you can see that on the camera. But I'm rolling the ankles. And I'm doing eight or so each way. Again, clicky joints are okay as long as it's not painful. Just loosening off connective tissue here. And change direction. One of the really nice things about Qigong is just being aware of your body. Yeah. I don't know when the last time you thought about how each ankle was individually, but we don't spend time thinking about it. But our feet and our ankles are super important. So is every joint. Change side. So as we notice from day to day, different tightnesses, yeah. different stiffnesses, if there's an issue, we can kind of fix it before it gets worse, right? So it's almost preventative care of the Qigong. And then change direction. So a regular practice will keep the body moving well, keep you connected to your body, and noticing the subtle changes from day to day. Yeah, we're going to come up to the knees. So we're going to bring our feet just a few inches apart. Put the hands on the knees. Start with really small circles. I have stiff knees, so don't have to do big circles. Just small ones through here. And we're going to just slowly make those circles bigger if you feel comfortable. Good. So we do six to eight circles one way. And then back the other. Same thing. Coming back to the centre, we'll come up to our hips next, next joint, so just start with really small circles. Then as you warm up, these circles can get bigger and bigger. Just be aware if you've got any lower back issues, not to push it too far, just listen to your body and move gently with the breath. So still in and out through the nose if you can be. This is a calming, relaxing session. If you start to mouth breathe, or if you're holding your breath, that might just start to show us that you're under a bit of stress, which we don't want. So just take it back to that nasal breathing. And then we're going to come back the other way. So start with a small circle. And again, you can make these circles bigger and bigger. There's lots of comments coming in. I can't read them all. Yeah. <laughs> Hope you're all enjoying it, or at least if you're just watching. It's great. If you're just joining us, we're doing Qigong with Aaron, and we're learning how to get the energy moving around our body. Um, for those of you who feel you need to stop being so or stop feeling so sluggish in January. This is a fantastic practice to get your body flowing and also does kind of give you a workout because when we get into it I do I remember last time I got quite tired so don't think this is all gentle and light and little old days of the park. This is really focused. Yeah. Okay. Um, we're gonna come into um, our neck and shoulder bent. I want you to really relax. We're gonna breathe in as we bring our chin towards our chest just as far as we comfortably can. And then breathe out as you bring your head back, mouth closed. Gentle stretch through the neck. So we don't want to force anything with the neck. We're going to breathe in, chin to chest. Head back, mouth closed. Breathe in. And breathe out. Good. Bring the head back to the centre. We're going to look over one shoulder, keeping the other shoulder still. Notice again how tight we are there as we look the other way. Very restricted. So breathing in smoothly one way. Breathing out the other. Breathing in. And breathing out. Good. As we come back to the center, we've got one more of these. We're going to bring the ear to the shoulder. So bring the ear down. Notice how stuck we are. And where it's tight, yeah. And then out to the other side. Good. Yeah, through here, right? Yeah. We're going to work on that in a minute with the tappers. So we go one side a couple more times each way, breathing smoothly. And then back the other side. One more time each way. So, seeing the camera there, Trudy, you'll notice how far your neck moves. Yeah. Or doesn't move. <laughs> yeah. And then we're going to have a, just a mental note of that image because we're going to come back to that once we've done some tapping. Exactly, screens, drop and send. And see how different it is. Okay. 
<laughs> okay, so we open that up. Next thing we're going to come to, the last set point is the spine. So we're going to make our arms really nice and relaxed. You're just going to gently twist. Like so the arms just swing. So you want no tension to the body. The arms should just swing from side to side. As you do that, you may notice there's this kind of gentle pulling sensation outwards, right? Mm -hmm. That's drawing energy out from our centre towards our extremities. So starting to move energy, which is really important. And that will become a little bit stronger if we make a loose fist with our hands, thumb on the outside. And you can then swing and drum. So we let our back hand drum the lower back in between the kidneys and the spine area. And the front hand is just going to drum the lower abdomen. So what we're doing here is really relaxed. We are drumming our organs. We are also drumming some of our muscle tissues. So this is helping to increase blood flow, circulation to all your tissues. Very important for, for the health of everything. But it's also helping when we drum the organs to release a bit of tension that might be sat in the organs. And to help move any stagnant energy, chi, so it flows. So this is a really nice massage for the whole body. It's one of my favorite moves to do when the kettle is boiling. Two minutes, just do a few minutes of twisting and drumming to release tension in the body and to energize you. And you should notice the difference in how your body feels at the end of this. So if we come up towards the stomach, a little bit higher, and the back hand's gonna come a little bit higher in our back. So drum in here, still try to stay relaxed, and just at the very end of the movement, pull to where you want to hit. Listen to your body, if it's tender, just do a little bit softer with the drumming. If it feels good, you can go a little bit more firmly. I do this a lot, so I'm used to drumming quite yeah. firmly with it. But really listen to your body. Make sure it feels good for you. Yeah, still that nice relaxed breath. As we come a bit higher again, we're gonna to come to the rib cage. So on the left is our spleen, on the right is the gallbladder and liver, and the back hand is gonna come high to the back of the rib cage from behind. So it's still swinging. And releasing tension through the rib cage helps with our breathing, which is very important. Particularly at this time of the year when it's very, very cold, it's quite hard on the lungs. So we want to really nourish our lungs and support them at this time with this kind of deep cold that we're just, going, we're just in at the moment. Yeah, we're coming a bit higher now again, working on the lungs. So we're drumming the top corner of the chest here. Really good for posture as well, this one. So as I drum there, it helps to release tension in the chest, but also stimulating the lungs to help with our breath. So still a nice rotation, letting the arms swing. The more relaxed you can be, the better with this one. Maybe some of you are feeling a little bit warmer as well. A little bit longer here. And then I want you just to stop and be completely still for a moment. Back to that kind of soft stance we had earlier, shoulders open. Close your eyes for a moment and just notice how your body feels. Vibration. Vibration, a bit of tingliness. Yeah. Does everything just feel a bit softer and lighter, a bit more relaxed? Mm -hmm. So really simply, all we've done is we've loosened off every joint in your body. We've done some drumming to start to stimulate some energy flow. And you can already start to feel the effects of that. We've only been going for five minutes. So it's going to keep getting better throughout the session. So we're going to continue with this idea of waking up our chi. Shaking is an amazing way to move stuff. So to move um, the lymph, to move blood, to move chi, and to get energy into all of your cells. So we're just going to start by shaking the arms. And you can do this as vigorously <coughs> or as softly as you want to. It's up to you. Shaking quite vigorously is pretty good though. And we can shake the shoulders a little bit if you feel good there. And the best thing about this is basically the way you look, the better. So you can start to shake your arms up in the air. If you're doing this with someone at home, you can laugh at each other even better, release some more endorphins. And we can bounce a little bit on our toes. So depending on how you feel with this one, you can jump a little bit or just bounce on your heels. If you feel that you've got some balance, you can shake one leg if you need to hold on to something or someone. Shaking all of your joints, shaking everything as vigorously as you can. Really, really good to get that blood flow, that stimulation of all the chi. If you feel okay to let your head go a bit loose, if that feels okay in the neck and you want to shake, let the face, let the cheeks just shake it all out. Then we go, get the head down. Look like a rock and roll concert there. Do a little bit longer. We're going to do another 10, 15 seconds. I want you to go a little bit more vigorously if you can. And at the very end, we're going to just stay completely still and again notice how that energy feels in your body. 
So we'll do another three, two, one, and just stand completely still. Well. Energized, alive. And I've literally got tinsel coming out of my fingers. Everywhere, it tingles all over the body. We've just got energy flowing to all your cells. We've got your microcirculation moving, stimulating to everywhere in your body. We're moving stuff. Movement is really important for our body. And in the winter time, we tend to kind of put these big clothes yeah. on, we sit by fires, and that's not good for our circulation and for our detoxification. So just doing that. I feel that, I feel so good. I hope you're feeling that. Yeah. So we feel awake, we yeah. feel energized. Yeah. Yeah. All of these movements I've shown you can be done in a sequence or you can just do them stand alone. So if you feel a bit drained, maybe not in the middle of the office, but you could do a minute yeah. worth of shaking yeah. quite vigorously and you feel very yeah. good for it. Great. So time to get into the neck and shoulders. We're gonna use our tappers for this. If you don't have a tapper, use a loose fist or a cupped hand. Okay. But, Okay, so okay. what we're going to do is we need to show you your loose fist when we do it. Yeah, so I will do. You can yeah. see you don't have this. This so is something I we got it. I got it from um, Hey You Method, uh, Katie Brendel. So I'll put a link to it, but you're going to share. Exactly. Yeah. So we can use these to increase the circulation by tapping all over the body, but we're going to focus specifically on some muscle parts, the neck and shoulders, to give you more release. So we did our little test, which was how far your neck can move and mitigate to the camera. The first area we're going to drum is we're actually going to come underneath the back of the arm here. So we're just going to drum up the side there, up and towards the back of the armpit and working through here. So if you don't have a tapper, with loose fists, you can drum through those tissues or with a cupped hand. And we're just increasing blood flow and circulation to these tissues and releasing tension. Into the back of the armpit area here, there's normally a bit more of a tenderness. So you can hit in there a little bit to release that. So generally working through here for about 30 seconds or so will really work well. So if anyone's got a really tight neck at home, try this, it really does work. Good. So we've worked through that area now. Now we're going to come to the chest. So we're going to come into the pec muscles, across into that shoulder. Again, if you need to use a loose fist there, that's fine. You may find it helps to open that arm up a little yeah. bit. So you stretch it back slightly, because it opens up the joints, yeah. and you can work into here. Once you get used to these, you can be quite vigorous and drum quite firmly into that area. But start gently again, always listen to your body and how it feels. I feel it's very difficult to tap different tapping against that than it is tapping against <laughs> this. Okay, so we've done that there and there. Next up is the neck. So we're going to go all the way up and down the neck. And then at one point in the middle, when you put your head to the side, that bit that really hurts, we're then going to focus on that. So we're going to work up and down the tracks. And again, loose fists can work here. It's just not as comfortable as using one of these, but I can relax a lot more and just use the arms to tap here. Into the side of the neck slightly. Up and down through there. Good. Keep tapping, and then we're going to use that one bit that's really sore. So right in the middle there for you is like pretty sore there, yeah. right? Normally, yeah. Yeah. So aim for that bit if you can. You can try and hit it quite firmly if you feel okay. That one tender point I'm really able to hit into for 20 to 30 seconds. So for me, it's always right in that bit of the track. That's finished. Good. Keep going. Keep breathing. Try to relax into it. Excellent, okay, last one. Okay. We're coming to the back of the neck. This is why these are really good, because you can get into the back of the shoulder. Unfortunately, without this, you can't get into the back of your arm, but I'm not flexible enough to reach. But we're releasing some tension through there as well. My wrist is getting tired. Yeah, you can think that you're getting used to, because you get a bit of strength in your arm when you do this as well, but it takes a bit of time. Good, okay, we'll rest there. We'll rest there. So. Let's do a quick test. I'll take the tapper for a second. Yeah. Relax down. Yeah. We've just worked on this side. This side yeah. So try tilting your head to the right. Good. Yeah. It's quite difficult yeah. to feel better. Yeah. Now yeah. tilt back to the other side. You'll see the difference in how tight it I feels, right? I literally can't go further than that. So we've only done a minute or so of tapping. The more you do this, the better you'll feel. I'm but a nodding dog on this side. Have a little bit more range there. Yeah. It's a bit less painful. Yeah. The same with looking over the shoulder. If you look around behind you, 
Yeah, so you can see it right there behind you. Yeah. Now, whereas before you were kind of at the bookcase. Yeah. So you can notice straight to my side. If yeah, you behind. roll your shoulders, yeah. you'll notice how much lighter that side feels. So a few rolls. Yeah, it feels different. Too, yeah. So now we've got to even them up. So we'll do one more test in front of the camera. So again, it's the right side we're working on now. So try and tilt to the left and let's see where we're stuck there. This is the tighter side. So that's as much range as we've got. Yeah. Got a mental note of that picture. Yeah. We're going to tap away. Okay. So we're going to use our left hand and tap underneath the right armpit and into the lap there. Good. So it takes a bit of getting used to these. Try and yeah. use just your wrist more if you can do. Yeah. So even using these and getting used to them will just give you more coordination through your limbs as well and how to use them. They're really, really effective at releasing tension and increasing blood flow all over the body. And these can literally be used all over your body. I tap round pretty much of these every day um, to increase that circulation. Do it. Excellent. Okay, let's move to the chest. So through here, we're going to open up the chest area. So I'm just pulling my arm back slightly so I can get into that area more. Again, even the same if I'm tapping here. Good. That's it, all the way through the chest and shoulder. Excellent, guys. Okay, on to the neck. Your arm's getting tired? Yeah. Keep, keep relaxing here, let's go. Yeah. I'll do it, so yeah. we'll go here. Okay. It's always nice when someone does it for you. We've only just yeah. done like a minute and a half, two minutes of tapping there. Yeah. Let's see where we are with that neck now. So, yeah. which way does it go? Like yeah, because yeah. I noticed it against this line, you see, and I knew before I just got to my parting. Okay, that's good. Go like that. It looks looser. Yeah. I don't know how it feels. Looser. If you look over your right shoulder again, yeah. Yeah, so you're yeah, moving okay, better, you can look round yeah. behind you more. Yeah. So it's only subtle differences, but if you did that mm -hmm. every day, you would notice this yeah. massive relief, yeah. right? It's just yeah. improving the quality of all your tissues through that. And it's, that's just two minutes. If you do three or four minutes, you can get even more. Okay. Cool, so that's kind of some tapping. We've got the energy tapping. flowing through some of the stuck areas of the body. Now we're going to do some more movement for this stuff. So we're going to do um, some very gentle twists for the spine. Mm -hmm. This is also very good for our kidneys. In the winter time, or which we are now, we really need to nourish the kidneys, the water elements. And yeah. um, we should always look after the kidneys and their health anyway. So, we're going to start with our hands behind our back, back of the hands against the kidney area. I'm going to do that way. Um, and then we're just going to just soften the knees and twist as far as you comfortably can one way. And then gently back to the other side, just breathing smoothly in this one. So in and out through the nose, breathing at whatever rate feels most comfortable to you. If that feels okay for your body, bring your hands together and then we're going to reach up and do the same thing. It's just a little bit more intense on the twist. So we should feel this into the spine, into that lower back and kidney area. Work from one side to the other. So these are our snake movements. So the snake can represent water in the way that it moves and flows. And these twisting, coiling movements are really good for massaging the spine. One more each way. Yeah, we're going to come back to the centre. From here, we're going to do some gentle rolls. So we sweep the hands away, breathing in. And then the hands roll up and we breathe out as they roll up. And if you feel good, you can start to move your body with this a little bit. So as we breathe in, we can fold forwards, keep the legs relatively straight. 
Just as low as you feel comfortable. And then as you breathe out, we roll up. And it should feel like a wave-like motion, moving like water, breathing in the move, and as he kind of rolls down. And then breathing up, we roll back up, moving the energy upwards. And we can go deeper and deeper into this, as long as you feel comfortable. So breathing in, coming down. Breathing out, rolling back up. Good. Take your time moving with the breath. Breathing in through the nose. Breathing out. Two more here. Nice and smooth. One more here. Breathing in. And yeah. So we're going to reverse that movement. We'll start very gently with it. So we breathe in, the hands sweep down, just the hands on the first one. And then you breathe out, they push away and they roll up. Good. And we can breathe in, we're going to roll down, start to move the body, breathing in. And then breathing out to push away. Breathing in to roll down. So this is really nice for your spine, guys. I hope you can feel that. Breathing out. And just little by little, we go a bit further. We don't force it, we just let the body release and move. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in, rolling through the movement. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Good. One more through here, nice and smooth. A little bit lower if you feel good. Breathing in. So the next one we're going to do a rotation with the spine. We're going to turn to one side. We're going to breathe in as we sweep the hands down. So it comes down to a side. That's it. Rotate through. Breathing it out to the top. And back to the centre. And then we reverse that. We go breathing in. Sweep the hands under. Breathing out to the top. And this gives again another gentle massage to our spine. And if you feel good, you can now start to circle around and lean into it a little more. Breathing in. Breathing out. And a bit further again, we can go down as we're breathing in. Breathing out. Good. If you feel good, if you reach out to the side, you'll start to feel it gently pull through the lower back. Rolling around, breathing in. Breathing out. Sweeping down, going a little bit deeper. It feels good for you. We'll do one more time each way here, breathing into the bottom, breathing out to the top, breathing in, and breathing out. Excellent, just relax your hands back down through the centre, relax your arms to your side. Take a moment. Take a moment. That was a nice movement. Really How's nice the spine feel? Good, but I just love the flow of that. Oh, great. Excellent. So hopefully your body's are feeling good, hopefully the spine is a little bit more open. We're going to work on one of my favourite movements, it's called Dragon Clears a Path. It's really great for our lungs and to open up our posture again. We're thinking about shoulder and tightness through here. We really want to open everything up. Okay, so what we're going to go for is we're going to tuck our hands, our thumbs inside our hand and bring our hands to the side here. We're going to turn out to, we'll do the right hand side first, so I'm going to turn out to my right with my right foot and punch out to here. Now, the arm does a figure of eight, so it lifts up behind you, comes all around the back of the shoulder, opening up. As it comes past your leg, it comes up over the top of the body, comes just past the front of the body, and then pull into the side, and then back in. So we can punch out to the other side. Turn the foot out. Big circle around the back of the body. As it comes past your leg, your left foot sweeps forwards, and the hand comes up over the top and then pass this side. So this is for our lungs. And what we want to feel is as we punch out and we lift our arm, that we're opening up the side of the rib cage here. As we come around the front, we're opening up the front of the shoulder in front of the rib cage. And then as we come over the front, we're opening up the back of the rib cage. So we're loosening off all of the tissues that sit around the ribs and around the lungs. And also we're massaging the lungs, right? 
and then the energy channel for the lungs comes from the side of the chest down towards your fingers. So down to the thumb, sorry. So we're going to stretch that channel as well. So we're massaging all the tissues, we're massaging the lungs, and we're also massaging the energy channel. So we're moving with real purpose. Yeah. And so we can think about that breath now. We can breathe out. And we're going to try and breathe in all the way around the back. Yeah. And come over the front. And then we're going to breathe out as we punch to the side. Breathe in all the way around the back. As you're warming into this now, you can watch the hand as it comes all the way around. You'll feel that open up the shoulders more. Punching out. Breathing in all the way around the back. So you should feel that the body is starting to release. That posture is opening up and these circles are getting easier and easier as we do it just two more times each way, breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. One more each side, breathing out. Breathing in, big circle. Breathing out. And last one, breathing in, big circle. Big over, up over the front. Just past the hip. And again, just stand and relax. Maybe do a few shoulder rolls. Less crunchy, less clicky. Should feel quite good. Yeah. So it really opens up our posture. Massaging the lungs. Again, that breath is super important with Qigong, so it allows us to, to uh, breathe a bit more freely, a bit more fully, which again will help to reduce stress, but help to energize us. So feeling good, hopefully. We're gonna keep working through some different movements. The next one is particularly for the kidneys. This is a really nice rotational move. So I'm just going to take one foot behind the other, and then I'm going to twist with really soft arms and look behind me. You should feel a gentle squeeze into your kidney on the left hand side. And then we come back feet together and then we're going to come and look over the other side. So we take a foot behind, we twist and look over the other shoulder. Gentle squeeze on the kidney. So we can breathe into the centre. Float across out to the side. Soft with the arms and shoulders, not holding on to tension, just relax. Breathing into the center. Breathing out to the side. Nice twist. Breathing in. Breathing out. If you want to go a little bit deeper into this, you can step wider and you can almost lunge down into it if you want to strengthen the legs a bit more, strengthen around the kidneys. That's completely up to you. You're still going to get a great benefit from just the rotation. Good. Breathing into the center. Breathing out to the side. Nice rotation. One more time each way. Breathing in. Breathing in. And breathing out. And then we come back to the center. Take a moment, see how that feels. It would be nice and warm through this area here in the back. Excellent. So we've worked on getting the energy moving. We've worked specifically on the organs of the kidney and on the lungs, which is great for energy at this time of year. Now we're going to think about how we circulate that energy around the body. And this is a really nice practice where you just flow with me, follow the movements, and just keep breathing. And uh, so what I want to do to start with is just soften the knees a little bit and bring our hands to our centre in front of our chest. So we breathe in here. And we breathe out and we expand our body outwards. And I'm pulling my fingertips back towards my face. And I've got a little stretch through my chest, okay? So breathing in, we're going to come back to the centre and just soften the knees a little bit. Breathing out, we're expanding and opening up. Breathing in, back to the centre. Breathing out to expand. Good, so we're feeling here. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to take our head across to our left hand next time. So I'm going to breathe into the center, softening the knees like it's drawing energy inwards. We're breathing out to expand the body. And we're going to look across to our left hand. We're going to look to our right hand. And then we're going to breathe in. Keep those hands gently pulling back towards our face. So we breathe out and we expand again. We do look to the left hand. Look to the right hand. And then we breathe in as we come back to the center. So we breathe out and we expand and we look out to our left hand, out to the right hand. Breathe in as we come back to the center. So we can feel this nice stretch through the body. So breathing out, we look across to the right hand this time. So we're changing sides. Then the left hand. And we breathe back into the center. So this nice stretch through the fascia as we're turning our head from side to side is also flossing the nerves. So it's just helping to keep the nerves nice and healthy in the neck and arms. Breathing in. And we're thinking about expanding our energy from our center outwards. So we're moving the energy from our center around to the whole body. One side to the other. Yeah, we can breathe back into the center. We're going to change our hands. We're going to put one hand on top of the other now. We're going to push one palm down, one palm up, stretching gently through the body. And we look to our top hand. Look to the bottom hand. And we breathe in as we come back to the center. We breathe out as we push, look up, look down, breathing in back to the center. Breathe out. Down. Breathe in. Two more times here. Breathe out. Again, moving and pushing our energy out in all directions. Breathe out. Down. Breathing in back to the center. We're going to change our hands over. And we do the same to this side. We push one palm down, one palm up. We look up. We look down. Breathing in. Breathing out. Up. Down. Breathing in. Breathing out. Up. Breathing in. To the hands. Breathing into the center. We're going to put a rotation in now. So I'm going to twist my body completely sideways on and put one hand in front and one hand behind. Nice. You're going to look to your back hand and then look to your front hand. Good. And then we're going to breathe in, coming back to the front. And we're going to repeat to that same side. So we expand the body. One hand is forwards, one hand is back. Look to your back hand. Still pulling the fingertips back towards the face. Look to your front hand. And then we breathe in back to the center. Three more times here. So expanding to the side, opening up. Look to your back hand. Look to your front hand. And then breathing in. Breathing out. Back hand. Front hand. Breathing in. One more to go. Breathing out. Back hand. Front hand, and breathing in. We go out to the side, so we rotate, we expand. Look to your back hand, look to your front hand, and then we can breathe into the center. Breathing out, nice and smooth with the movement. Back hand, front hand, breathing in. Breathe out. Front, breathe in, breathe 
that. Breathing in, one more here. Breathing out. Back and front. Breathing in, back to the center. The hands sweep down. We rotate the hands to face up so our thumbs point backwards and we breathe in, drawing energy up the back of our bodies. Then as we come down, we come down through the front and center. The hands aren't quite touching, so fingertips are just apart. So we breathe in and we draw energy up the back of the body, so drawing up the spine. And then breathing out as we come down through the front and center. So we can think of the back of the body as being more yang and the front being more yin. So that yang side, the back side is well, like our sympathetic nervous system, our fight and flight. And the front side here is more of the parasympathetic, the rest and digest. So we are literally balancing our nervous system here, balancing yin and yang, harmonizing the body to finish our session, breathing in, drawing energy up. And breathing out down through the front and center of the body. And I want you just to close your eyes for a few more breaths here. Find your pace. This is your meditation. Soften the body. And flow with whatever feels good for you. One more breath here. And at the end of this breath, we're going to change direction. So change in the circulation, the palms face up. We breathe in as we draw energy up through the center. Reaching up. Breathing out as the arms relax down. Again, find your pace, find your rhythm. We're just going to repeat this. So again, if you want to close your eyes, if you've got the movement, just go with the sensations, whatever feels good for you. Balancing the energy, we're harmonizing your body. We'll do two more breaths at your own pace. And once you're done with those breaths, I want you to finish with your hands, one resting on top of the other, and your lower abdomen. Noticing that you feel calm and relaxed. You may now be aware that there's more energy flow in your body. So we're going to come and check in with what we did at the beginning. The hands come just a few millimeters apart. As you breathe in, the hands expand slightly. So checking in with that energy. So, so breathing in, the hands can expand slightly. And as you breathe out, the hands can come a little bit closer together. So imagine it's like filling up a little balloon. Breathe in, the hands expand. This energy gets bigger. 
and breathe out, they can come back together. And let's see if you can feel that energy any wider than you did at the beginning of the session. If you can't feel it wider, perhaps you're just aware of the energy more, or there's just a better quality of energy feeling there. What I'm trying to show you guys is that this, this works, it makes a difference to your energy. Yeah. Simple, simple practices, you can see and feel the difference in your body. Right. So I'm hoping everyone's feeling a lot stronger with their chi now as well. Guys, if you don't feel it, do not worry. If you're particularly tired, there's a lot of stress going on, it's going to be hard to feel your energy, but the more you practice things like this, the more you'll be aware of it. And then we can use it to heal ourselves. The whole idea is that we move energy and we use it to, to heal our organs, to heal our emotions, and to keep us healthy and feeling energized. So one last thing before we're done. Yeah. When we're done there. So we're yeah. gonna just do a little energy massage just to set that everything yeah. to finish off. So mm -hmm. hands one on top of the other in your lower abdomen. We're gonna do three massage circles one way. Doesn't matter which way you go for now. We're not going deep, so it's not just gently over the surface. And then three back the other way. <clears throat> We bring the hands around to the kidneys. We can do a little kidney massage as well. It's really nice for that area. And then with loose fists, we're just going to draw around the body. So we're going to start on the back of the legs, both sides at the same time. So we come down the outside of the legs, all the way down to the feet. Then we come up the inside of the legs. We come up around the abdomen. We come up to the chest, from the top of the chest. We come down the inside of the arm. It's important this is the way that we go around the body because this is how the energy channels flow. We come up the back and outside of the arm. So we're influencing that movement of chi around the body and, hope, and helping to make sure it's not blocked or stuck in any channels. So down the inside of the arm, up to the fingertips, up the outside of the arm. Gently onto the neck, onto the chin, the cheeks, the temples, Forehead, top of the head, back of the neck, up into the mid back. And now you know the routine. We're going to go a little bit faster and go around twice more, a bit more vigorously if you feel good. <clears throat> up the inside of the legs, around the abdomen, up to the chest, down the inside of the arm, to the fingertips, up the back of the arm up onto the neck, down the inside, up the back, chin, temples, we're stimulating loads of lovely acupuncture points all over the body here as well, so really nice for that energy flow. One more time, down the back and outside. over the kidneys very gently and one last time we're going to come back to the centre, we soften the knees, close the eyes for, for a moment and just come back to your breath. So in through the nose and out through the nose. At the very beginning of the session we had a check in to see where you were holding on to tension in your body, where your energy was today, where your mind is. I'm hoping that you can feel and notice the difference in your body. And at the end of Qigong, we hope to feel calm yet energised. So this nice, calm mind, but a body that's full of an abundance of qi, ready to take on the rest of the day. And so that's how Qigong really works. By increasing your energy and helping to reduce pain and improving the way that you move, you generally want to move more. You're more active in your day. You make better decisions based on food because you're feeling better and you just get into much more positive cycles. It helps with sleep, digestion, and that overall vitality of life. So to finish guys, we bring the left hand to the center of the chest, we bring the right fist into the palm, and we take a bow. Excellent, thank you guys, I hope you enjoyed that, that I mean, feel great. I, can we just say, Aaron is the best drug, and we want him every day. I just, 
when you got us to stand still just now, I don't know how you felt, but I just thought, I've got a bit of my life back, my life force back. It was just, it was like, better than when we did it before, because when we did it before, we did quite a lot of sort of more exercising things, yeah. but this was that real mind and energy together, and I loved it so much. I want you to, I want you to, I mean, we need it. How much do we need it? How much do we have to convince him to come back? <laughs> that was phenomenal. I can't wait to see how that makes the rest of my day. I, we need this once a week, don't we? Do we need this once a week? On every level. So, um, if you would like to have it once a week, you've got to beg on the main feed. I'm going to hang up now. Uh, we're back. And, um, and let's try and convince Aaron to come once a week. Have a great day. <laughs>